Hello all, welcome to the MATLAB tutorials. In this video, we are going to calculate the axial deformation of the bar and we are going to plot it. For calculating the axial deformation, I have used the finite element method. We know that in finite element method, for 1D bar element, the stiffness matrix equation is Ea by L, 1 minus 1, minus 1 and 1. And in case of force vector, so this is actually the force vector for a uniform axial load. That is Q is the magnitude of the force, L by 2, 1, 1. In case if it is a point load at the end, you can directly use F at the last node. In case if it is a vertical bar with a self weight, then you can use a rho A L by 2, 1, 1 equation. Now we are going to plot it. This is the MATLAB code I have developed for uh, calculating the axial deformation. Initially, I have defined the parameters. So the length is 1 meter. Nx is the number of elements. So I have kept it as 10. E is the Young's modulus of the material. A is the cross-sectional area. And F is the applied uniform load in Newton meter. Next, element properties. So the element length is total length divided by number of elements and uh, element node. So as it is 1D bar element, it has two nodes. Then uh, nodal coordinates. First, I am defining uh, the number of nodes with uh, zeros. So x is equal to line space 0 to uh, nx plus 1. So actually, the total number of nodes will be total number of element plus 1. That is why I have used plus 1. Then I am initializing the stiffness matrix and force vectors. So zeros of stiffness matrix is total number of nodes comma total number of nodes in the column direction. So it is nx plus 1 and nx plus 1. Again I am telling so this plus 1 is for uh, total number of element plus 1 is equal to the total number of nodes in case of bar element. Then force is a vector so in the column it is uh, nx plus 1 number of nodes and comma 1. I mean in the row it is nx plus 1 and in the column it is 1. Next I am going to calculate the element stiffness matrix then I am going to assemble it. So initially I am calculating element stiffness matrix. So Ke is equal to Ae by element length into 1 minus 1 minus 1 and 1. Similarly I am calculating the element force vector. Now after calculating the element stiffness matrix and element force vector, next I am going to assemble it. So in the nodes I am calculating the uh, nodes at which I have to keep this Ke and Fe. So in case of first uh, iteration, the E value will be 1. So it is 1 comma 2. So the global in the global stiffness matrix, the Ke value will be already defined global stiffness value plus the Ke value. So in case the already defined value it is 0 because already we have defined the value as 0. So this is 0 plus the Ke calculated value. And in force vector also it is 0 plus the calculated value. In case of 2, then uh, here the global value will be 2 comma 3. Then here the Ke will be added with the 2 comma 3 row and column. Similarly, the force vector also it will be added with 2. Now going to the boundary condition, as it is uh, fixed in both the ends, we know in uh, finite element method if uh, it is fixed at one node then the corresponding row and columns will be 0. So here I have uh, initially defined the corresponding column as uh, 0, I mean corresponding row as 0. So the first uh, row is entirely 0. Next the 1 comma 1 I am defining it as 1 because if you use a 0 here then it will lead to some error. So I have used uh, 1 and uh, the force vector, the corresponding row of the force vector is 0. And it is also fixed at the end node. So clay global end, the corresponding row is 0 and the end comma end value I am keeping it as 1 and in the force vector also the corresponding row value will be 0. Now I am solving this. We know that uh, the equation is k into u is equal to f. So u is equal to f by k global. So this u will calculate the entire uh, displacement. Next I am plotting it x and y then title and I am switching on the grid. Now we can run this. So 
So this is uh, the deformation of the bar. So initially I have kept the number of nodes as 10. So that is where you can see that. If I increase the number of uh, elements, then we will get the accurate smooth curve. So I have replaced the number of elements with uh, 100. Now you can see that you can plot a smooth curve. So by increasing the number of uh, elements, we can exactly get the deformation. I have also given uh, the code in the description. You can use it if you want it. Thank you.